Is a Blue Land Foaming Hand Soap any good? This is a unbiased review on the Blue Land product. I went and bought, oh hi, I'm Natasha, welcome to everything else. Um, so I love to live sustainably. I try to find sustainable zero waste products as much as possible. And I found Blue Land super excited about their mission and the fact that they have, you know, chemical free cleaning products. Uh, so I bought the entire kit. I'll do an unboxing video. The starter pack has like the bathroom cleaner, the everything cleaner, the glass cleaner, foaming hand soap, and then I also did laundry and dishwashing soap. Uh, but this video is about the hand soap. So we are going to get into it. I'm looking at the video now. Um, and I'll let you know what I think. So I start the video by just kind of showing you how to fill up the water. Uh, how to fill up the hand soap and basically there's a line on the bottle you want to fill it with warm water um, and then you just drop the tablet in the you cannot put the lid on right away you need the tablet to dissolve first I didn't time it but I would say it was probably like 40 minutes or so for that tablet to dissolve uh, and then you can screw the lid on and um, so I did a few little tests here to show you what I really think for the product. Um, right off the bat, there's this, um, the logo is like imprinted into the cap lid. And of course, if you have dirty hands, the dirt actually goes into the logo. Um, and I need to get like a Q-tip or something because right now I just, I can't seem to get it out with just wiping it. So that's kind of annoying because you don't want to look like you have a dirty soap dispenser. Um, then, so I did a test here where I just washed my hands and it kind of shows you like, it's not super foamy. Um, it's just like soapy water on you. Um, and then, you know, you, I wiped my hands on my white towels. I just bought these white towels and the towels remain white. So that's what feels like just done with the bathroom your hands aren't like covered in filth so in the next test I uh, went ahead and put on a tinted moisturizer uh, which obviously leaves your hands pretty dirty like there's a substantial amount of stuff on your hands and you do not want that wiping on your white towel so I went ahead and I you know put that on washed my hands pretty thoroughly you kind of have to reapply because again it's not like a foam it's more just sudsy water and uh, then I wipe it on the towel and the towel remains pretty white um, and I've been left with uh, some foundation on the towel um, if you do wash your hands obviously for the full alphabet or happy birthday uh, you will still see maybe a little bit of residue left on your white towels. Uh, so my overall review of this product, again, this is unbiased. I don't have any links for you or anything. Um, it's, it's a good soap. I love the premise of the company. Um, but so I work with a contractor. Marco is a handyman. He's constantly covered in paint and sawdust and dirt. And I think this is a good soap for like your guest bathroom. I don't want to dissuade you from buying this product. I definitely like it. Um, I like what the company stands for. Uh, if you are a contractor, however, or you have really messy hands or maybe, mm, you know, I'm not like a hundred percent sold. Will I repurchase? Maybe. Um, the Each tablet lasts about a month. So I really like Blue Land. I like what they stand for. And I like that they're chemical free. I feel like I'm repeating myself. I will do reviews on the other products, the bathroom cleaner, the glass cleaner, the everything all purpose cleaner the dishwashing detergent and the, um, what's that thing? Laundry detergent. Um, and I'll let you know what I think of those. Um, so yeah, I hope that helped. Let me know if that helped. Let me know if, you know, what you think. 
or if that was too wishy-washy. Um, I'm learning how to do these and, you know, I'm just being honest. So, okay. Thanks for watching Everything House.